for the cautious is to stay within the union. That means you stay within Europe. That means you get solidity. You get the currency that you know and trust. All of that safety and security is gone now because we're on some wild journey at the moment as a country, aren't we? The first thing is, is it's, it's not all gone. Um, but I'm surprised to hear the argument that Andrew is making because Andrew Wilson was praised when he published the, the Growth Commission for showing the first bit of honesty from the SNP as to what the, the cost of Scotland leaving the UK would actually be. And he has said um, since then and recently that there would be um, a huge cost for the next generation. And um, What we're not hearing from the SNP is why is it worth the cost? Like Why would we take the opportunities of a whole generation of young people away? Um, it's just not worth the cost to the economy. And looking at Brexit, we have to look at this face on. And there's lots of people, me included, who want to be part of the UK and the EU and are extremely sad about leaving the EU. But the reality is, if we absolutely have to choose, the cost of Scotland leaving the UK is, is not worth the, the benefits that we would get from going back in the EU. And the SNP also have to be honest about that. It is simply not the case that Scotland would walk out of the, e, the, the UK and right back into the EU. It would be a long and expensive process, adding more, uh, more pressure onto our economy, and it would have absolutely no guarantees of success at the end. We're still seeing Spain and possibly others who would veto any attempt from Scotland to rejoin the EU. And if we were successful, we would we, then we, be faced we, we don't with... Know. We don't know, though, that Spain and others would veto anything at the moment, do we? Because no, we, there's, no, we there, there's absolutely no know. clarity on it. Let me ask you... No, let me ask you... But, but, Martin, can I just say, though, that even the best-case scenario is that we would have a long process to, to get back in. We would, have a, a, um, we would have a hard border between Scotland and England. I can't see any way, and no one has suggested... How how it re in reality that that would not be the case. We would have that hard border and we would need to commit to taking on the euro. Now, I've heard um, Andrew and others say that, um, give other uh, examples of what we could do with the currency, but the fact is we would have to commit to being part of the euro to be back in the EU and that, that is not something that's popular with Scottish voters. Uh, 